Maybe it wasn't actually Hasbro's fault. What? What do you mean you can't fix me? Err, yeah. See, the thing is, I kinda, sorta, lost your mold. Yeah, kinda sucks to be you, buddy. Can't really do much because, you know, they don't make you anymore. Jetfire, the walking lawsuit. Yep! Looks like you blew out your transformation pack. Well, hurry and get me a new one! My settlement with the Robotech guy specifically forbids stopping mid-transformation! Yeah, I'm gonna fix this up before a lawsuit comes our way. You know, we have a good relationship with those Robotech guys, and I don't want you jeopardizing that, Jetfire. So, you just kinda stay put here while I fix your transformation pack. Okay, Wheeljack, but fix it up quickly. Everything is cramping everywhere. I am in so much pain. Trans fans often create their own fan bots. Real TFs create their own trans fans. Check out my new character, Streaker Gal. She's totally hot and owns my original G1 figure, Mint in Box. Me draw Takara Fan 39, him hate new movie, and only buy Japanese figures. Also him have laser eye. Me Grimlock, next Picasso. Who is the ultimate prime? I totally died for the cause. Twice if you count those wacky Japanese episodes. It only took me three TV series to defeat Megatron. I took the heat from my friends and let Mr. Vernon catch me in the gymnasium. That was one crazy Saturday. I managed to balance the Autobots budget by using monkeys to animate our show. You can't tell, right? I'm not really a Prime. It's Optimus Primal. Still, I bet I get more votes than that movie loser. Despite my junk-tastic transformation, giant robo-lips, and moronic plan to kill myself leaving Earth to the Decepticons, I'm still more well-known to kids and the general public than any other prime. Deal with it. <laughs>